Hi coaches, welcome to Hoops Smart Fuel for coaches number three for this year. Excited today to talk about player leadership. A couple of quick thoughts first. If you do retweet this video, I'll put you in a drawing for another free book. I sent out three last week. Excited to send out three more this week. Also, all of these videos are posted on my YouTube channel. Also, Hoop Smart um, Fuel for Basketball Coaches. Um, my thoughts today are about team leadership and player leadership. You know, you always talk about how player-led teams um, win championships while coach-led teams win games. Here are some ways that we gave leadership to our players and specifically to our captains during our seasons. First one was pre-practice meeting. You know, you really think that huddle at half court before you practice and what you say is so vital to how that practice goes. When you really think about it, they hear your voice a ton. Um, about five years to go in my coaching career, I handed that meeting off to captains. Did I get in the captain's ear a little bit before practice and say, here's some thoughts? I did. Um, but they didn't hear my voice before practice. It was a captain-led meeting at half court, and then they would go ahead and get ready to practice. We'd do our warm-up stuff. They heard from me enough in practice and post-practice. So those captains really set the tone for how that practice was going to run. Secondly, it was a pre-game meeting. So at halftime of the JV game before us or the girls game before us, our team would leave and head into my classroom, which happened to be, I'm in it right now, really close to the gym. And uh, the captains would lead a meeting. I'd give a little note card to the captains of some focus areas for me, but they led that meeting. No coaches were in the room, and those captains alone were in there um, with the team talking about the goals for that game and what they wanted to go over. Really gave them some ownership pregame, and, and they got to hear my voice in the locker room just before the game, but the captains ran that meeting. Thirdly, some say in the team motto. This is this is it from one of the um, years late in my career, and uh, I really gave my captains and my leaders some, uh, some input into that, uh, that slogan for each year so that they would have really buy-in into that. And the last thing would be a captain contract. If you want me to send it along, I will. I have a captain contract that my captain signed, talk specifically about where they would sit in team meetings, where they would be in huddles, and some of those other things that we expected from, uh, from captains in our program. I'm excited again to see you uh, next week. Thanks for watching.